G'day, welcome to Mount Canberra Acre Culture. It's Tuesday, December 26, 2023, which is Boxing Day. Um, hope you all got through Christmas okay. I um, just want to have a talk to you today about this high bike gear gear that I've got. Um, when I lost all my bees up at Nimboya, I lost pretty much all of my 10 frame paradise gear. Um, due to the surge at cost beekeeping, um, we're looking for ways to help me and they hatched the plan with Hive IQ and Victor Croker um, and his team to organise um, 60 nine frame Hive IQ triples. Um, landed in Coffs Harbour for a great price and um, yeah, I'm just so grateful for Judith the Surge's help and even more grateful for Victor Croker and the team at High IQ for um, coming through with this gear for me. Um, yeah, it's just, um, I'm just overwhelmed to be supported in that way. And um, to repay that kindness, I just want to do a quick video on how to put this High IQ stuff together. There isn't much Australian content about it. Um, so hopefully um, this will just simplify the process. When I when I got three pallets of gear, landed at my place, and I just looked at it, I thought, oh my God, how am I going to do this? And I sat down and worked through it and, and worked out um, how to do it quickly and easily. So hopefully uh, this video will give you some idea about how to put this stuff together. And I just want to um, draw your attention to the high quality of this stuff and the advantages of um, the high by view equipment. So um, let's go through it now and thanks for watching. Right, so we'll start with the bottom board of, board of the base. So you, you start with this um, poly pre-casting. Um, everything's painted, so I used to paint every surface of this stuff with the Paradise gear, but um, High IQ are adamant that you only need to paint the, the surfaces that are exposed to the sun, so the sides, this part of the entrance here, and we have nothing else has been painted, so we'll see how that goes. Um, there is a um, directions book and I'm reluctant to read these things but this is actually quite um, informative and I recommend that you read this um, go through the assembly instructions really well and simply so um, the paint I'm using is Haynes uh, I'll do a quick video on that again shortly just to um, talk to you about the Haynes and the support they've given me um, right so I haven't included a painting, any painting in the video because that would be like watching paint dry. So we might be doing that. So this is the base, the ventilated base, and pretty simply just sit that in. It's a really nice finish, and it fits beautifully in there. So just with the supplied screws. So there's three types of screws. If you just get a kit for one high, there's screws for the base, screws for the body and screws for the lid, so um, they're all slightly different, but then they're clearly marked. There's base plate in place, um, very simple. As I said, really, really high quality finish. It fits in there nicely, um, as opposed to the, the old Paradise stuff, where you've got this expanded mesh, and um, yeah, it's, um, you've got to supply your own screws. I always found it hard to get this stuff in. You've got the rusty screw in there, and a far superior um, finish. And when I compare this 5x cube stuff to the Paradise stuff, I'm not trying to um, denigrate or knock the paradise stuff, I love it. Um, just trying to highlight the, the improvements and the, the superior um, quality of these, I'll go a few things. So that's, that, this little plate here, 
Um, you can retrofit the pollen trap in there, which I don't think are available yet. But that sits in there to cover that, so a few screws in there. Don't screw these things too tight because you'll pull the you'll pull the screw out again and destroy the hole with the thing. There's our common plate in. Next thing is the little entrance here, so um, these are fan a fantastic idea. Uh, you can split your entrance three ways, so you can have it open up two thirds, you can open it open one third, or fully open. So that fits in there. Move it up a little bit. And once again, just four screws to hold that in. So that really fits um, with precision, it's really a nice fit and there's no gaps there for anything to, to get in. Um, next part is to fit these little closes here, they, these hold your side entrances in so um, just a little tiny bit of glue. too much so you don't want a hell of a lot of this stuff because it foams up um, just put that in there and another bit here and there um, and that holds those in place so you can just have that inside entrance open there and just sit that there uh, now, underneath, flip him over. Got these what they call the Varroa rails, so you can slip a Varroa mat or a sticky board in there and um, just check the drop to um, check your mite levels. So it may come in handy for all the soon. Lastly is our RFID tags, so these are individually numbered and they can be scanned with a mobile phone I believe using the HiveIQ software and um, you can identify each hive individually and keep records with their online software so we'd be keen to, um, to see how that works. There's your base finished. Um, yeah, I really like um, just the precision and I like this entrance as well. So um, there's no way the bees can chew that out, I don't believe. Um, I'll just show you that the old bases, the Paradise ones. Um, and once again, I'm not trying to knock, knock this stuff, it's a 10 frame base. Um, if you've got a 
you've got these entrances in here. I found that um, this entrance was far too small and the bees like to chew out around the edges here and they even chew underneath. So um, yeah, they really dislike these small entrances and, and in future in the summer, I'll take these entrances right out because yeah, you can see what, what they do. Um, they also dig in through here and, and make entrances through the bottom when they haven't got enough room out through the front. So um, yeah, I think the, the high IQ stuff is a good on the Paradise in terms of the bottom board and actually if you've got Paradise 9 frame gear um, I think you'd um, do yourself a favour to buy you know retiring your old um, Paradise bottom board stuff and, and switch into high by Q because it'll this takes um, the, the 9 frame Paradise stuff it's exactly the same size so that's your bottom board done so our next step is to build the supers. Um, these are nine frame gear, uh, the same as the Paradise nine frame, um, exactly the same size and shape. So we'll start by putting the long edges on these sides. So you get a, there's two different profiles, so they fit on, get it right. They fit on there. They can only go one way, so you can't get them wrong. And these go on the bottom. They fit pretty easily. You don't have to bash them with a hammer or anything like that. Next step is to um, put the corner pieces in. So you've got uh, different, there's four different types. So they fit together pretty. That's not the right one. They fit pretty easily. It makes sense when you um, sort them out. So sort your four pieces out. In there. And these pieces go on top. Like so I'll just click into place. Now we do the other one at the same time, so this one goes here. Doesn't. One goes there. One goes there. These go differently to the old paradise things, so a bit of glue, um, side pieces. So you just glue them along this edge here. So along there, it's all the needs. Easily there. Grab your other one. And once again, just glue that that edge there. Push that in, and then glue the tops. Then done. Grab your other side and step 
but I'm like that, man. They just fit together really nice, you see. I don't have to bash them. Bash them with a hammer or anything like that. Just remove that excess glue. And the glue that comes out can just be wiped off. Finish. Right. So our next step is to drill screws through these holes here. Super done. Um, just got to put these top pieces on the ends. Uh, there's two types again. There's two different profiles. Um, this one goes on the, this the profile for the bottom, so you can see that goes in there. They're actually quite hard. Let's do it this way. They're probably. The Hardest bits to get on. It's got to be pretty forceful to get them in. They do fit. This one here as well. You can see that click into place. And these are the ones here. So they, they fit on much more easily. Turn around like that. So there's your completed super, nine frame super. That's, it's really easy. Um, I guess the improvement from the Paradise stuff is that we've got, now got these side bars on them and there's that strength in that corner with that screw there. So um, the, one thing I noticed with the old Paradise stuff is if you drop them on a corner like that, they would um, break in half. So. Um, I think that's that problem solved now and they're, they're much more robust and they just fit together really nicely and if you paint them first um, you get that lovely lovely yellow edge on just a little bit of glue coming out of there which I'll just clean up so that's it your um, IYQ Nine frame super completed. So just a comparison to just to demonstrate that this is exactly the same as the nine frame paradise gear. So there's our um, nine frame nine frame B box paradise sitting on top there. They're exactly the same and they fit really well. So yeah, if you want to, um, if you've had nine frame paradise stuff and you, you want to improve your game a little bit in terms of um, the bottom boards and better quality supers, these these paradise ones um, fit exactly the same. Um, painted green you won't, won't know the difference. So moving on to the lids, um, this has been painted with um, Holmes paint. Um, 
I like the colour bond colours, this is part of the implement, paints into the bush really nicely. So that the only piece you really need to paint is that poly um, polystyrene edge, but I've painted the whole lid um, because they look nice. So you get two long pieces which fit just clip into place there. One of the three types of screw which is supplied, so the, I think the packet says five lids. <laughs> sensible like that. These lids come with the um, metal cover attached now, I think in the past. You had to fit the metal cover yourself, but that's already done for you now. So we've got some end pieces there that just fit over the top. into place as well. lid finish um, yeah these things are really really heavy and robust so yeah they're a great improvement on the old paradise lids they're yeah, really tough and solid very nice so that's all components put together um, the base supers and the lid I've got a clean excluder here too just to show you how it all goes together so um, put our um, super on clean excluders just sit down inside there which is a really nice finish second super and our lid um, you've probably seen me using those grunt straps um, I really like them been using them for years on these polyhides. They strap everything down really nicely. Uh, they don't rot in the sun, they last forever. And they're nice and cheap. They're from Bunnings, I get them from Bunnings. Um, the company that imports grunt straps um, very kindly donated 40 of them to me, so um, please support the people that support me. Um, very grateful for the help of for the help from um, grunt straps as well, so they just fit nicely on there. How it all looks. So, there's your finished finished high by Q. All this high by Q stuff needs to be painted. Um, it's um, the, the poly doesn't really doesn't like UV light, so anything exposed to light needs to be painted. Um, I've previously just gone to Bunnings and got the cheapest stuff I could get, and often different colours and that sort of thing. Bunnings mistints. So, um, um, my um, good friend Guy Bertram um, reached out to Haynes Paints when I lost all my hives up in Border, and um, they came to the party and the Haynes have donated um, two 15 litre drums of beautiful um, acrylic um, paint tinted to part of the eucalypt, which is my favourite colour, um, supplied by Petrus Mitre Tan in Coffs Harbour. So thank you Haynes Paint, I'm just so grateful for the, for the assistance. This paint goes on beautifully um, with a roller or a paintbrush and it, it really covers nicely. So the other old paint I was using, I sort of thought maybe three coats would be okay, and make it just look good. But this this two coats and it's just perfect. Um, 
it's got a really long, long guarantee, I think 20 years or something. But this is just beautiful. So um, thank you, Haynes. I'm just so very grateful.